In this video, we will show you how to set up specific colors for measuring different layers. Different colors will allow you to represent different edges and finishes on your templates. Colors may also be used to represent layers or toolpaths for your CNC. Most shops also like to maintain consistency with their color representation, allowing a shop to standardize certain colors for certain measurement types or layers. It is very important to create or edit your color options before measuring a job by opening the software, creating, selecting, or editing your colors, then exiting the software. Making color changes while measuring a job may create unintended colors or errors. On the right side menu, select Color. Under Edge Type, select the field and type in a description for that color. For example, you can designate a specific color to represent measures for cabinet base, walls, finished edge, miter, drop edge, or seam. Under Line Type, choose your desired dashed or continuous line. There is also checkboxes allowing you to turn on or off certain colors, which can make your templates easier to edit. Under the Amount option, you can enter a linear foot per dollar amount for estimating purposes, which will help estimate a cost per linear foot on a specific color or edge type. The last column allows you to assign a color for your seams. You will only need one color to represent seams. This function was added so that when you create a line that represents your seam, it will create two lines in order to split the pieces and represent two complete polygons. On the right side of this window, you can set your defaults for certain functions. Default color refers to the color line of which your software will start. For example, if you always prefer to measure cabinet bases first, you should select this color as your default. Dimensions and text defaults are in black for easy visibility when printed on paper for your shop sheets. For backsplash color, you choose a flat polish color or raw cut, then revise what color gets changed to the raw cut line. There are also a few buttons in the bottom right corner of this screen. The top two buttons are for creating a new color or removing an existing color. To add a color, click New Color and select the color. It will be added to your list and you can rename the color. You can also select an existing color and click Remove and Yes to delete that color. You can also choose to Revise and Revise All. If you have multiple colors on your screen that you want to change to one color, select the desired color and click Revise All. Now, every line is that color. Choose Revise if you want to change the color of specific lines on a select drawing. Select the color we want to change, click Revise, then click on just the lines you want to change to this color. To change the color you are measuring and drawing in, select Colors, pick the color, then click Select. Verify in the top right corner of your screen that your chosen color and description are the desired selection. If you selected a color by accident, you can select Cancel to exit this menu.